Hello everyone, my name is Jay Courtney 93 and yesterday I learned something pretty cool about uh, Facebook. There's a little feature which you can use to download your um, uh, past posts and pictures and your albums and photos. So I'm going to go ahead and make you go into Facebook sign in. And then all you have to do, it's pretty simple, is go to this little down arrow and to account settings. In a future version of Facebook that might not be there, but it will be in camera settings. And then once that loads, uh, you should go right to the bottom and there should be a thing saying download a copy of your Facebook data. Then you click this and this will then... Uh, I'm not sure... point you to enter your password. No, it won't. It'll ask you to do some stuff, you can click it, and then it'll send an email to your registered uh, email account. And I'll say something along the lines of this. You have received a request to download. Um, I did this, clicked on the link, which will be blurred out, and then it took me to this page. You enter password, click download, and it downloads a zip file. I'm going to go ahead and close this down, and then show you what kind of stuff's in the zip file. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Here you go. You'll get a little zip folder called Facebook uh, dash whatever your homepage URL thing is. That's Jay Cook. So I'll go in on this and it'll be README. And then it'll say who it's downloaded by, when, and what time, which is pretty nifty. And then you got some stuff. So there's photos. And these are all the photos you've posted. So I could click on. Uh, Spain, one of these, and it'll open it up, hopefully. Yes? No. Okay, you need to extract all this to view some of it, which is pretty standard. But one of the cool things is HTML. If you go down, you can click on all your past messages, which is kind of freaky to know what they've done. Uh, notes, photos of me, profile, and stuff that you post on people's wall. So this will open up in Chrome, because it's a web page, or whatever your default uh, web browser is set to. And then, well, we're going to have to wait a bit for this to work. 